is how's everybody doing um so when i was meditating with the energy there were a couple things coming through um one i was getting something about stretching something about the neck and how um there may be something else going on in the body that is related to that or affected to that remember these are general readings so only take what resonates um and i was also getting um all of these phrases related to like laser focus and bird's eye view things about like being really zoomed into something um i'm hearing something about surgery now it felt very much related to like this sense of being like very present and very concentrated and like very focused in on something um and then i was also getting something about like calm there may be like calm calm down calming practices something that you're doing zen practices breathing techniques body weight exercises seeing something with a ball actually okay before we get into the reading let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. I'm seeing something about self-care already so maybe this is a focus right now. It's like prioritizing your needs. What do you need physically? What do you need um, within your own personal space? Um, what do you need as far as what's going on emotionally for you? And how are you feeling in touch with yourself? You being very present to like what's going on emotionally for you, it seems like that is going to help you very much. There may be even a situation where you're being called on to be like maybe understanding about something, maybe compassionate towards someone. Always starts with us, right? With you and yourself. So maybe something like that going on. But yeah, there could be something happening where you are like prioritizing your needs on the emotional front. For some of you too, there may be like some revisiting that you're having from people connected with, connected with, intertwined with your history. Could be like thinking about someone, thinking about people, seeing them show up in your dreams. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Focus on reciprocity. So this is about you checking in within your life and being like, am I, am I giving what I feel comfortable with giving? Am I giving too much? Are people giving me things that I don't want to accept? Do I need help? So all of these things about like these energetic exchanges and these gives and these takes and like when it comes to work, am I being compensated in a way that I feel good about? Do I feel like I'm valued for what it is that I'm doing? Do I feel valued for um, myself within the relationships that I'm in? Um, do I feel like I have needs that maybe I need to express or talk about? Is there something that I want or an expectation that I have that I want to articulate with someone? Where do I stand with all of this? I'm getting something about chipping in. This can be about like duties that you have, even like household duties with the Queen of Pentacles here. So you may be talking to someone and being like, hey, if I do the dishes, will you take out the garbage? Stuff like that. It can also be about um, 
Hmm. Are we going in this direction? For some of you, there may be something that you're doing and you could possibly be feeling like you're being taken advantage of or feeling like you will be taken advantage of if you don't like set some type of boundary or communicate something. So this is about um, having everybody do their part and not having it all fall on you in a way that you don't feel good about or don't feel comfortable about or in a way that you don't want. And this is also about this is also about you taking the time that you need for yourself as well to do the things that help you to feel like connected with the universe and with spirit and all of these things. There's a focus on Taurus, maybe a significant placement in your chart could be somebody that you're working with. Yeah, it seems like this is about ex explaining what it is that um you want like your desires your wishes things like that what it is that you're looking for i get the i get the notion of potentially seeking something Talking about expectations, standards, boundaries. Is there anything else that really falls into that category? When it comes to like your ideal relationship, this may be a partner that you're working with. It can be um, getting to the point of working with someone. The emphasis on there being like shared responsibility and breaking things down in a way that like you feel good with and like compromising and all of that stuff, it leads to things going well, things feeling like even ideal within the relationship. I'm seeing communication be very big here. Um, there may also be something going on related to like values, shared values. For some of you, I'm hearing assets. But yeah, maybe this was even a recent conversation that you had too. Coming at it from a place of like your heart being very full and um, coming from a at, coming at it from a place of empowerment rather than like say somebody had been like maybe lacking or falling short in some sort of way like as you see it instead of coming through in a way where it's like you may be feeling resentful of something or it's like you feel overworked and when we do feel that way it's because like we have boundaries that we haven't set in place and implemented and so we're doing something that maybe we don't feel okay with actually so it actually comes back and falls back on us so this is about like recognizing the responsibility as well and seeing like the benefit of communicating like with an open heart and seeing where that leads you within your relationship and allowing things to be as they are meant to be in a way that you want them to be with you and um, like your partner or whoever this is that you are working closely with and like even setting boundaries too that you feel comfortable with and the first step of setting boundaries is to check in with yourself and get clear on what those are for you and that looks different for each of us too. And if something is not working to make things work or to make moves in a way that works for you.
for some of you as well, there may be something going on where you know what it is that you're looking for and you may not be feeling that with the person that you're with. And you may be kind of with a person that you're with, a person that you're close with. Because this doesn't have to be like, um, like a spouse or a romantic partner. It can be a friend, it can be a family member, it can be a child, it can be so many different things. So it's just like you and somebody that you're connected with. And I'm seeing like something may be going on that is possibly leaving you wanting. You may feel like there's an imbalance or that there's a like lack of maybe something that you need or something that you want. But the notion is to get on doing something rather than staying stagnant is about going through with um like possibly creating some sort of plan i'm hearing the word trope the the emphasis here is if you want to find the fulfillment that you're looking for and you feel like something is lacking within an area of your life rather than like impulsively going after something before you've like really thought about what it is that you want this is about taking your time with something and planning something out so you actually get the result that you want rather than feeling like instant gratification within a moment is about finding like a long-term solution rather than something that's just an instant relief that then we're going to be like back at square one facing the same problem again <clears throat> yeah, there may be somebody that like impulsively you're thinking about moving towards and you may be making a plan to connect with them to connect to reconnect with them i don't know if this is somebody you know or not already i guess we're gonna find out um but this is also about like checking your intention space as well and being like what do i hope to get from this and also is that in alignment with like what this person is actually going to give me because you may be looking for something from this person that like they may not be like willing or open to give to you. So that's also something to check in with as well. It's like maybe you have expectations like, hey, if we plan something and get together like this, this and this is going to happen. And maybe they're in a space where they're not open to that. So this is also about checking in and communicating. And as I said before, rather than like going through with something without thinking about it and being like, okay, what are my expectations? Like, is this person capable of giving those things to me? Like, what have we agreed upon? Um, it's about doing that rather than running into something without thinking about that and then coming out in a place where you feel like what it was that you wanted, there's like a lack of satisfaction there even. Because somebody may not want the same thing that you want, actually. But, but like, in a flash of a moment, you may think that they do. And if you don't take the time to think about it, you may not realize that the two of you are on separate pages. And there's a notion, too, that there could be something potentially here for you to resolve with this person based off of maybe something that had happened and the way that you may want to approach them. Remember, energies can be reversed. I'm just sticking with one narrative so as not to make it confusing. There may be something going on with this person that could potentially be resolved or that there is like left open to resolve if like both of you guys are willing to do that. However, um, the way that you may want to approach them may be like counterproductive to resolving whatever that is. Like, you may want to come through in a way that would be um, possibly, like, out of touch for the situation. 
And as I said before, remember, like, someone could be approaching you in this way. It may not be you. So I'm seeing you get more organized with something that you're doing. Like, more methodical, even. And more patient, too. Because I'm seeing you waiting to take action. It's like, rather than going forward with something immediately... I'm seeing you take your time instead to even see how things unfold or see where things are going. Planning accordingly so you can feel confident about the decision that you're making. It seems like this is going to ensure that when you take action, you'll be sure that you're doing it in the right way. So you won't have to second guess anything. And that's the lesson that you're learning. That's what you are completing here. It seems like there's also this sense of like possibly manifesting someone that you feel is like an equal in a way or like on your level, on your page waiting for the right thing rather than seizing things prematurely that aren't going to like live up to your expectations or your standards So I'm seeing that there had been some sort of imbalance and rather than sticking around in something that wasn't working, I'm seeing there be a separation. Now, I'm seeing these two people um, like intersecting, coming together. And this can be like these two different energies that you are intertwining with in your life. Um, and it seems even like it's the way that we we channel an energy and transmute it into something that's going to be like beneficial and functional for us. <clears throat> for some of you, you're waiting to talk to somebody. I'm getting this with the Taurus energy. So yeah, I'm even getting the notion of, like, you may be holding yourself back from doing something that you want to do, but you have to, like, wait. Wait and plan instead. So, like, maybe it's moving at a slower pace than you want, but I'm seeing... As I said before, planning is going to allow you to feel more confident about the decision you're making and feel more so like you are going in the direction of what it is that you want. And I'm seeing this thing coming together here. And I'm seeing um, I'm seeing even something that had been... I'm seeing like a piece of fabric that had a hole in it and I'm seeing something be patched up now. So it seems like something is completed or resolved or fixed or tended to in some sort of way and I'm seeing a connection between you and another person and it looks like whatever had been going on between the two of you that maybe it was even like a momentary thing that was happening because the Five of Swords can represent there being, um, like, some sort of, like, unresolved issue between two people. And to have, like, the lovers here and also the Wheel of Fortune, it may have been a situation that, like, may potentially not be a long-lasting one, actually. Um, I'm looking at Taurus, Gemini, Saturn, and Jupiter. But it seems like because of this way that you're going about doing this... Like, well thought out, planning, all of that stuff. Seems like that's the sure way to allow harmony to commence. So maybe something that felt unharmonious before moves into the space of becoming harmonious. Even working well, working well together. Tell me that's the moon. 
Got some Pisces energy here. I'm here, hold your horses. So there may be something that you're working on more privately yourself. Feels like this is related to like you getting in touch with yourself and there could be somebody that you're learning from. I'm not seeing this be like everybody knows about this. Like it may be something more quietly that you're doing. Like for example, it can be doing some sort of like therapy or self-help or like emotion regulation is something along the lines of that and I'm seeing like you're doing something that you're learning from there may be somebody that you're learning from and I'm seeing like it's allowing you to ground and center yourself and I'm seeing too that there's also learning that's being done about like your intuition and your emotional experience as well and there's a sense of like diving into the subconscious energy too seems like there's also a lot more insight that you're gaining by um like being more level-headed with with something and really balancing your emotional experience as well feeling very stable and connected I'm seeing you working on your goals. I'm seeing you working on your stability. I'm also seeing you trying to sort through something or manage it as well. It's like focusing on things long term, focusing on your goals, focusing on your security and stability and safety, things like that. Things that allow you to feel um, like at peace even. And I'm seeing something that you're working on and I'm seeing like as you are like even doing these things like pragmatically within your life, within the 3D, within your physical life, there's also something that you're balancing and working out on the emotional front too, connected with like your pursuit of happiness, the things that bring you a sense of um, fulfillment, joy. There may also be something that pops up and you're trying to figure out um, like if that has a place with you, like if that belongs on your path and if that's something that you want to, I'm hearing the word endorse. So I'm seeing these two energies come together and this can be like two different aspects of you that are coming together. So it can be um, like you working on like job or things that you're responsible for and doing so in a way where you feel like very in touch emotionally, um, artistically even, and you could be starting a, a project, but something that's going on slowly. This can also be like two people converging in a way where they're going to be starting something, but I'm seeing something that is very, very slow paced. So it's like a new direction or a project that you're working on or like a relationship or somebody that you're connecting with. And I'm seeing something that's um, like even though that that spark and that like motivation and passion is there, 
there's a sense of like really taking your time with whatever this is to um, keep things in a balanced state rather than to go into like overdrive or to oscillate. It's about like keeping the keeping the balance. Now I'm seeing something hidden. So this may be for some of you something that has not happened yet. And I'm seeing somebody coming from like a very stable background. I'm seeing somebody very stable when it comes to like their job and responsibilities within their life. I'm seeing somebody that feels very grounded, somebody that's working on like getting more and more in touch with their emotions. And I'm seeing that there could be somebody that's like had their eye on you, somebody that wants to connect with you, somebody that's curious about you and what you have going on and what you're doing. And they're going back and forth thinking about like, hey, I may want to start this thing with this person. You may be interested in us like connecting or collaborating or like going down this road together. And I'm seeing somebody being like, I think my intuition is leading me in this direction. I think this is something that would bring me a sense of like joy and fulfillment and happiness. And I'm trying to like figure that out for myself. So I'm seeing something that's in the midst of kind of working out, like something that's being processed through currently. And it looks a bit like, um, like new territory, maybe something that you're exploring that you're making progress with, but maybe somewhat, um, you may be a little bit maybe unexperienced with this, or it may be a little bit different than experiences that you've had. It may feel kind of new in a way, or renewal, something like that. I'm looking at Pisces and Sagittarius. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.